Oh, oh shoot. Every fucking time. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're such a fucking brat. <gasps> what do you want? I want her to ask me how I'm feeling. And how often do you genuinely ask him how he is? You make you make me sound like I'm, I'm the bad guy. Get closer to the mic. Don't back away. Yeah, you have to get closer to the mic so yeah. we can hear you. Yeah, yeah. No. Get, get closer to the mic. Um, get closer to the mic. Uh, Sit. Get, clo- get closer to the mic. No. Get closer. Uh, get closer to the mic. Don't go hey, away. Hey, um, talking to the mic. Just keep your mouth <laughs> um, right where the mic is. Um, closer to the fucking mic. Closer to the mic. mic. Um, closer what? to the mic. Um, get closer to the mic. Talking to the mic. Get closer yeah. to the mic, Jules. Um, talking to the mic. Your mouth closer to the mic. Talking to the fucking mic, Rudy. Talking to the mic. Um, boo boo. Happy Halloween. Get closer to the bike. You two are bad friends. For these two idiots. No, 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 no. So, a- a- Andrew, at your age, do you still celebrate Halloween? Look at me. I'm 37. I'm dressed up. I know, but does it. What? Do you, now, how do you feel when you do it? I feel good. Really? I love dressing up. I, lo- I love when the kids come into my neighborhood and they want candy. I wait. I, last year, I handed out 50 bags. 50 bags. You got to be kidding me. All Mexican kids, too. Uh, All Mexicans came to my neighborhood. You know, they, I've never, yeah, ever bought a bag of candy for Halloween. You don't have, you don't let kids come trick or treat at your door. I, I, I put apples. You're a turd. I put razor blades in it. <laughs> 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 no, I've never bought uh, any candy. Yeah, because I've always lived in an apartment, which is, I think that's the reason why I got. No, I know this is I my li- first house. Th- yeah, I did it last year for the first time. I never have done it before. Right, but that's why I loved living in an apartment because you didn't have to do that shit. No, see, I love I thir- it. I was on the third level, right? Tucked away in the corner. Tucked away in the corner. <laughs> no one came. This year, we got the house, right? I turn, I go, turn off the light. Turn off all the lights. We're not home. Really? Yeah, and we just sat on the couch until the wee hours of the night. That's so mean. Why? Because those kids want candy. It's, gives, it's bad. It gives them diabetes. Yeah. Right? It, it's not healthy for them. So? Vitamins, maybe. I'll book him vitamins and some zinc, maybe. But Look who's talking. You smoke and you drink Red Bull. I know. So who cares? Yeah. I also bought you a, a look at... These are the, okay, you just bought me I bought my favorite candy. I bought Bobby a tub time. of, of um, candy corn. corn. Candy, candy corn. corn. It's my favorite one. Do you like candy corn, Jules? I've never tried. Oh, give it... Slide that bucket to me. Yeah. So do you know... You know these are... This is an American uh, tradition. I fucking hate these things. People Can like... Can I defend bu- them? Let me do my case first. Go ahead. I hate these. They're disgusting. They're usually old people really like them. Okay. Because they're like easy to chew. There's no crunch. There's no crackle. There's no snapple. There's no pop. Um, you always can find these at an old white person's house here in the United States during this time of year. And they'll be in a, in a glass bowl of a grandma's in a kitchen. Mm. And they're, they're there for months after because no one likes this shit. So I want you to try some candy corn. All right, Jules. What's the verdict? It has a weird taste. Yes, it does. Mm, okay. He well, loves them. Go ahead and defend them, you psycho. Weirdos love this. I know. Weirdos. Can I defend them? Yeah. All right. Number one, perfect size. Yeah, for okay. you. For you, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. For the mouth. Well, because you're a limited number of teeth. You can't crunch through candy. I get that. No, 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 no. They're mashable. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's rude. Fact. All right. Number two, right? My favorite colors. Orange, like me. I love orange, right? I love yellow, like me. You, right? And then and I love white people. Look at like that. Like you, like you. <laughs> like okay. So I like the colors. And now, when I first ate a candy corn, yeah, when I was a kid. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. I remember, you know, putting it in my mouth. I was at some old white person's house, uh, my friend Craig's grandfather's house. Uh-huh. He had it in a white jar. Yeah. And I ate it. And I went, wow, I hate it, right? He goes, hey, Hupsing. Because back then you could say stuff like that. Yeah, to, to you still Asians. can. Yeah. Hey, little Hupsing. Hey, noodles. Right? You don't get it yet. It'll grow on you. And I got, okay. 
And then one day I realized when I ate it, because you know, this is after I add probably a variety of thousands of different kinds of candies. Yeah. But this is like, um, it's very simple, right? Yeah. It doesn't try to, <laughs> it doesn't try to deceive you with fancy flavorings. You know what I mean? You know how you, you, you get like a, um, you know, a, a Gatorade or a Starburst or whatever. They have fancy names. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cool like, blue. Yeah. Like Ice Na- Glacier. Nature on, Nature on green. You know Nitro what I mean? Nitro green. Like, lightning. No. And and then you taste it. It's like a weird flavor. This is pure sugar. sugar. Yeah. And that, at the end of the day, mm-hmm. is what I want. Just confectionery sugar. A sweet, perfectly shaped, you know what I mean, item. Yeah. S- s- directly put in my toothless mouth. And that's going to just make more le- toothless teeth. It doesn't matter. So I, I'm a big candy corn freak. You love candy corn. I love them. I want people to tell us from home, the fans, if they like candy corn. Jules, you still you still don't like it, but you want another one? No. Okay, good. See, she hates it. See, there's easy, so some people taste it and they go, I don't know if I like it. And then you eat a few more and you go, mm, maybe. Um, I, I can't them. stand them. I can't stop. Well, I put them over my uh, ear. You can eat as I was many thinking, as you want. I was thinking on the car ride over here um, yeah. of... The three big Halloween, like, um, you know, the movies that they've made, you know, the, the, um, the icons. You have Frankenstein. Uh-huh. You have the werewolf man. And you have... The werewolf man? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What What's movie is that? The werewolf. Which one? Um, John. <laughs> John the werewolf. I don't know. There's a name? What werewolf movie are you talking about? Well, isn't a werewolf... There's been, there's, a, a, okay, first of all, there's been Teen Wolf. With Michael J. Fox? Yeah, no, not that one. Phenomenal film? Not that one. Didn't like Court McCowan in it. Um, <laughs> and, um, werewolves of London? Yeah, something like that. But it, it is it, Werewolves, right, are a thing that people watch. Sure. And, it, they, and well, then you have Frankenstein. Yeah. Right? They're also... Um, what about the new generation, like Halloween, Friday the 13th? No, just, I think, just talk about the three first. The three most famous Halloween movies? <laughs> no, no... The icons of old Hollywood. Yeah. Those things. Frank, vampires. Frankenstein. Frankenstein and the werewolf. Invisible Man is one. The Invisible Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So these movies are really sticking out to you. <laughs> <laughs> you remember these so well. Yeah. It, the bit that I had is going away from the bit that I had. Well, just do the bit. Right? And now it's like we're, we, we railroaded into this area. It doesn't matter. What are the most famous... What are the most famous? This is not what I wanted. Stop doing this. <laughs> Whatever you're doing right now, this is not what I wanted. My intentions. I knew it was going to backfire on. Hubie me. Halloween. First of all, Adam Sandler's new movie, Hubie Halloween, is the most famous Halloween movie of all time. Period. Oh God. I, what, I, I'll just tell you the bit I was going to go into. Do it. Right. Out of the three, which one would you be? The ask, pros and cons of it. That's all. And then L- it went let, into another let's area. Tr- let's try it again. Let's try. It. Let's try it. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I just didn't know how to get into it. What are the, like, what it, are these not, Halloween movies that what what a were the werewolf? They're the iconic fucking Halloween characters. Frankenstein, the werewolf, and vampires. Yeah, you would be Frankenstein. No, you'd be the werewolf. No, I was just wanted to talk to e- about each one and what the pros and cons. Of well, give them to me. Of... Give them to me, baby. No, you... I was going to ask you it, but it's like not even. You have candy corn on your chin. <laughs> 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 Nightmare Before Christmas is my, one of my favorite. I don't even know what that is. I don't even want to know what it is. Tim Burton, you do yeah, know it's, what it, but it doesn't. Right, what I'm saying to you, right? This is Halloween. Is found- this is Halloween. 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 I've always loved Halloween. One of my favorite holidays because it's right around my birthday. It's right after my birthday. It incorporates, it incorporates a lot of orange. Me. A lot of spooky stuff, skeletons. I dressed up one time as a kid, and what happened was I got expelled from school. In middle school, my friend Alan Meadows and I dressed up as black people, and we got expelled. <laughs> did we you did, we did, did you blackface? blackface? We did blackface, and we brought afros, right? What did you? What? How did you we put? Got, we called. I don't know what we were. What did you use for the blackface? I'm always curious. Shoe, shoe, we were like shoe polish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then um, I remember going to the principal's office, and this is in 19. 19- 60s, early 80s, oh, 80s, 80s, early 80s. And then I remember them saying, the principal going, uh, you can't do that, guys. What, what, color, you guys what color was he? He was white. And I go, um, and that, my only thing was, there's no black people in our school. Yeah, it's Poway. Yeah. And he's like, it doesn't matter. But you're like, but and it I does, because they won't know. They won't. No, it's like, you know, if I. 
If a tree yells the N-word in the woods, <laughs> does anybody hear it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, since then, I was just like, uh, yeah, I just don't, don't know how to choose right. No, you do. Also, I was going to bring in some stuff that I found at the Halloween store. You know what's it's so funny? It's like, you couldn't cancel Halloween costumes because they're I feel all... bad by, by, by the no, way. No, you don't. You were young. Yeah, I was a kid. I didn't know any better, and I feel bad about it, but, you know. I wore a ninja costume, and my mom... See, that's rude. And my mom put tape on my eyes to my put my eyelids down. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I swear to God, did it. Well, why would... Why would but th that... Let me just say, first of all, you're making an assumption that all... Ninjas. Ninjas are Asian. They are. Not all of them. Name a white American ninja. American ninja. You ever see the movie? Jim Cotta. That door white people. Shut up. There are white ninjas. All the famous ninjas are Asian. Yeah, I'm just saying. Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan. I know, but it's like saying like um all Italians right own pizza restaurants. A good amount of you know, them do. I know a black guy that runs one. It's Rarely. Not that very good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's gonna but be bad. They, I know. What my point is is Some that some stereotypes work. You don't work. have to go all the way and put the fucking tape your fucking. Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, because Did you paint your face yellow too. Then a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I, po I poisoned myself and I had a little bit of jaundice, so I looked a little bit yellow. Yeah, and then let me ask you this: Did you do an accent? Uh, of course. Of course you did. I went. You love doing that. Cheek order the treat. <laughs> yeah, you love doing it. <laughs> you love doing it. I had. To, they tried. You try. They try to cancel costumes every year, but how? How could you cancel costume? They're all you could you could find something wrong with all of them, with everything they represent. How is this not racist towards fucking leprechauns? Not a real thing. They're making fun of tiny Irish people. Yeah. So how is this not racist? That should be racist because it is. Irish people were oppressed. Dude, everything, every costume. The reason it's funny mm. is because it's joking about a stereotype. Yeah, that's why it's funny. That's why that there was a fucking section at the Halloween store. They had um a it said voodoo stuff. And it was bones through the nose, uh, like um, necklaces with saber tooths on it. Yeah. Uh, shaman sticks to shake and give you a small head and stuff like that. Mm. How is that? What's the difference at some point? Yeah. They're rid it's ridiculous to even try to cancel costumes. You can't. Yeah, but you can't, like, for instance, I bet you money you can't now wear a headdress. There was, st there was still Native American stuff there. There was tons of it. I was at the um, a, a club in Edmonton. There's a mall. I don't know if you've been to that mall. Rick a thousand times. Rick Bronson's room? Dude, that's, that's first of all, first of all, shout out to the Bronson family who was so loving and checked on, on in on me the whole time. They also headlined me before I was ever ready. Yeah, I love that. Rick. They're the best. I they're love great. That. They're the best. They're the best. But yes, the West Edmonton Mall. Right. So um, there was like a, a photograph, you know, one of the, those old timey photograph things that you can go. What do you, what do you mean? When you just walk, there's like a, like a, it's a store, but it's really a studio. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. You, you, the, you have that old timey backdrop. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they only had cowboys and Indians. Right. Right? So I go, I don't really, I, I think I identify more as an Indian the way I look. I'm not going to wear a cowboy outfit and take the photo. There were Asian cowboys, though. No. Yeah, they were. Who? There were Asian cowboys. No. It, oh God. In the Old West, right, there were no Asian cowboys. What they were were... They were in the world. They owned opium dens, yeah. laundry mats, uh -huh. right, and stuff like that. And they were did dynamic detail when, as a railroad. You don't worker. think one or two of those guys got on a horse, put on a hat? That's the only way. But it's like they didn't ride like regular horses. They probably rode like. Yeah, little doggy. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's so funny too. What I, are you doing in this part of town, Chang? Yeah, but there was never any. Um, I think because Asians are so like, um, su not submissive is not the right word, but they like to, no, just hear me I think out. that's the right word. I don't think it is, right? They they like to, um, they don't want to be seen, right? Yeah. And they want to acclimate themselves and just blend in. Right. And cause no trouble, you know what I mean? So I think that's why you never saw like, just a bunch of Asians hanging from trees, you know what I mean? What? <laughs> what do you mean? What are you talking about? Well, back in the day, right, if we were loud and boisterous kind of people. Oh, you right, get hung. We would get hung a lot and right. beat up a lot. You never s read about that. But the Asians, they hid. No, we were like, you know, right this way, Mr. Johnson, right? <laughs> in any job that, you know, we had back then. Right. It was always like, come, please come in. You know what I mean? It was right. never like, come in. Get over here. Yeah, yeah. You smoked the opium, relax. Yeah, relax. Right? Yeah. Would, Thank you so much, China, China. Right? And they would smoke <laughs> and relax. Okay, Mr. Johnson, you feel good. I'll come back. You want a gin tea? 
right? Yeah. And they were like that laundry, right? Come on, bring your bring your dirty body in here. I clean it, right? <laughs> it's always a kind, very sweet. Yeah. So there were no Asian cowboys. Yeah, we were just you know in the either the food industry mm. or railroad industry. Yeah. You know, ching, ching. Oh. That's where it comes from. What? Ching, chung, ching. Oh, oh, oh yeah, from chung. railroad. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Wow, we <laughs> just came up with that. <laughs> I never thought of that. Yeah, but like other like I, the Irish would complain about their backs. First of all, first of all, the Irish were, on the same token, the Irish were blue collar slaves. They worked for no money. I understand that they had to become thieves. A lot of them because they couldn't get work. Yeah, there's old signs you see that say Irish need not apply. I don't know why they hate people. They hated the Irish so much. Because yeah. I guess they thought they were useless because they were like... <laughs> I know. Another, uh, you know, another race that's like that. But I love the Irish. Or our nationality is um, the Polish. Right. right? I like um, back yeah. in the day, like you would like get, um, you know what I mean? How many Polish people did it take to... You know, screw in a, a light bulb. Screw a light bulb, yeah. right? And I don't know what the punchline is. 10,000 because they're so fucking retarded. That's the you know punchline. I mean? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever. Right. Right? And you'd be like... As a kid, you'd listen to go, and you wouldn't find it funny because you don't really get that stereotype. Yeah. But then you watch Polish people now, right? Like Johanna Yangchenczak. Yangchenczak, yeah. You know who she is? Yeah. And she's just beating the shit out of people, like, you know what I mean? And she's a bright girl. and Yeah. No, I don't, that came from this old, like, I'm from Chicago. Chicago has a higher population of Polish people than Warsaw. That's mm. a fact. Happened years ago. And when I was a kid, you used to hear, so the, the slang, the racial epithet, is they'd say Polak. That's what they call Polish people. And when you're a kid, you hear it, you don't understand why they make fun of Polish people. And then you get older and you st still don't. I don't I don't get it. I don't know what it is. I think it's like a, you just can. I don't know. But what? where did that st come from though? I think because I maybe- We should talk to Stefano, we should ask him. Maybe Russians, maybe Russians. Uh, the beef between Russia and Poland, maybe Russians looked down on them and they took that to America. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. The joke in Chicago always was that Polish guys, like, they never finished anything all the way, though they did cheap or, or labor that was mm. like, because a lot of them worked in construction or worked on, were contractors. I didn't get it when I was a kid, but it was thrown around a lot. Yeah, it, 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 it questions all kind of these stereotypes that don't make any really sense. Yeah, they just, well, they like say Like a them. standard one, too, in L.A. would be maybe, you know what I mean? Everybody's gay? No, Mexicans are lazy. See, that's a that's a weird old phrase that I think was taken from like the cartoon era of like. Uh, you, but then you see remember them. Speedy and Gonzales, like, remember Speedy Gonzalez. Remember Speedy Gonzalez's best friend. Not that job. Right. Remember no. his remember his best friend. What was his name? Speedy Gonzalez's best friend. Oh yeah, yeah. He was always like, "Hey, Speedy." Yeah. He, Sleepy Bean. Sleepy Bean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And they and then and and that was like this weird perception that like uh, that there was a lazy idea. No, they're the uh, they're the polar opposite. I don't think I've I don't think I know. I don't think I've ever not seen a Mexican guy either working or looking for work or just getting off a job. Or like, you know what I mean? What do you do for a living? Well, I've got 15 jobs. Yeah, all you of them. I mean? You're like, oh, fuck. I'll do anything you need me yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, And it's like... Who's the laziest people then? It, I don't think a, a people is lazy. A type is lazy. What's the type me. of person? Yeah, what are you? I think I'm um, entitled, fat, you know what I mean? This is great. Small. <laughs> yep. Right? Type of person. So entitled, fat, spoiled people. Yeah. They're lazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you weren't the son of a billionaire. So you're entitled for someone that didn't no, come I, from... I, I, well, from what th my therapist said was um, that I... Because I struggled so hard as a comedian and I was so broke for so long... Same. That once I... Once I got stuff... Yeah. Right? I just became entitled really quickly. That's so. I worked yeah. so hard, you know what I mean? But that's wrong, because they can take it all away. They did take it away, it and then you humble yourself, and then it can go away again. They, that those the so five times is when you humble yourself. Lose the entitlement. No, it's oh, you're gonna keep it. I can't wait for the entitlement. You 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 do it now. I know. I'm in a good. I'm in an upswing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in an upswing. But when things start disappearing, I'll become humble Bob again. Humble Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you really believe? Do you believe in any of the stuff that that I get into like this? Because I love Halloween. Do you believe in ghosts and ghouls and spirits? No, I think it's um. You don't believe in any kind of apparition or spirit or you believe? No, we in were, I mean, we talked about ghosts that I grew up with them, but um. I know, but you really don't believe in it. No, because um. I think th everything can be s explained by science. 
And also a lot of it's illusions, you know what I mean? Like I w- I, I've been driving, you know what I mean? You've been driving? I was driving in the desert once. Yeah. I was going from Vegas to Barstow. Yep. And I um, was driving in the desert during the day. And I didn't drink, didn't drink any water. Because you were dehydrated? I was dehydrated. But I was just driving. I, had to, I remember I had to get somewhere. In the heat, it was really hot. Yeah, my car didn't have air conditioning. What is that called again? A mirage, a when mirage, you saw a mirage. Yeah. And I, when I was looking in the desert, and I saw oh. these hands. I'm chewing into the mic. <laughs> it's fucking so gross. What? <laughs> what? It's just the, the candy corn into <laughs> the mic. It's just... Why? What's wrong with you today? I just don't want to hear it. Yeah, but it, I'm, you don't put it's candy so next to me. It's so small. Just to swallow it whole. Don't put candy next to me if you don't want to hear me chew gulp, it. Gulp. You have a whole, I have a whole bucket full of fucking candy corn here, baby. Well, put a whole chunk in your mouth right now. So you saw hands waving. You don't like um, chewing. I swallow it. No. <laughs> no. I'm chewing the whole fucking show. You want to distribute that one uh, gram of sugar all over your mouth. As much as you can. I love flavors, baby. I know you do. You're I want my whole mouth to fucking experience So it. you're driving in the desert and you see hands waving. And yeah. what happens? No, but that, my point is is that I saw a bunch of hands waving like we're at a Coachella or something. Huh? Right in the distance. Sticking out of the sky. Not, not but Like, let's say this is the desert. They're sticking out of the, you know what I mean, like this. The horizon. The horizon. And they're just waving their hands. I mean, I think they were going, you know what I mean, go, go to me. Crash, 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 crash. Yeah, yeah. crash. So I saw a bunch of hands waving, right? But, but So what you think that's everything but is... But that's not real. Yeah, well, That's it is, an illusion. But it's real to you. You've created that. So my it's real. My point is it's still not real. It's, so, it's an illusion in my mind. What's real then? Nothing, really. Ship, ship station. station. Oh, uh, God. I love Ship Station. Do you know why? Why? It, it, I use it in all my businesses. Yeah. You know, I use it in Tiger Belly. I use it here in Bad Friends. Yeah, baby. It is such, it's our most reliable thing. It very much is, and the holiday season is approaching guys and gals, so you know you're going to be buying and shipping stuff way more than ever before. And uh, if you're looking to uh, put some stuff out on the intro net, they the fastest, are the best. the easiest, and most affordable way to manage and ship your orders. In just a few clicks, you're going to be managing, printing out, discounted shipping labels, getting your products out super fast. We use it. We absolutely love it. And the best part is they work with uh, Shopify, Amazon, eBay, and, and your own personal website. Yeah. So they bring all that stuff into one simple interface. Yeah. ShipStation works with all the major carriers, right? They do USPS. They do who FedEx, else? FedEx. FedEx. UPS. UPS. And even international. International, baby. They're the best. They offer big discounts uh, on shipping costs. Any business now can access uh, no the same ShipStation discounts. No wonder ShipStation is the number one choice of online sellers. Yes, it is. You'll ship more in less time with the best rates available. That's right, man. And right now, the Bad Friends listeners can try ShipStation for free for 60 days when you use the promo code... Bad Friends. Bad Friends. You sure... Um, your business can meet the demands of the massive online shopping season, okay? Get started at ShipStation.com today. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in Bad Friends. That's ShipStation.com. Then enter the offer code. Bad Friends! Bad Friends, baby. ShipStation.com. Make ship happen. Honey! honey! Here's how it works, my friends. You get honey on your computer for free in two easy clicks by going to joinhoney.com slash Bad Friends. Yeah, when you're checking out, uh, we both use this because it's so easy. I don't, I can't believe you wouldn't. When you're checking out, all you have to do is click, click. It applies coupons, discount codes automatically for you. You don't have to do anything. My question to you, save you money. is why wouldn't you want to save money? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. Every click. Yeah, you I can like save it. the money. I want to be saving the money. Yeah. Okay. I just was online shopping the other day. And guess what? What? You Honey saving, dropped down. I saved were, money. Did you not save the money, though? I saved $7.86 when I purchased a uh, connected cable for my computer literally three days ago. How about yeah. that? Mm-hmm. You saved money with Honey? Yeah. What have you done? Go. Oh, I saved um, over $10 on um, buying new controllers for my video game controllers. Look at that. Look, it's uh, it's going to help you along the way. Dollars and cents are adding up right now, okay? Especially because the holidays are coming. It's tough. You're spending money online. Tough times. Uh, Honey has found 17 million members and $2 billion in savings. It's so easy. You just use it, and it costs you nothing. So they support all kind of retailers from tax, gaming sites, fashion brand. It's simple. If you have a computer, Honey should be on it. It's, it's free. free and works with whatever browser you use. That's right. You can get Honey free today at joinhoney.com slash badfriends. That's right. That's joinhoney.com slash badfriends. Rudy Jules, do you believe in ghosts and spirits and ghouls and goblins and ghosts? Um, not really, but I'm interested in it. It's, you you are? Yeah, it's nice and yeah, Oh my fun. god, she she has. N- what are you, by the way, for Halloween? What did you put? What what is this? 
I don't know. I forgot <laughs> that it was today. Yeah. And so I had a wig. So I just yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. I knew it. And what are you, Bob? What did you dress up as? Sam Tripoli. <laughs> <laughs> what an inside joke. Oh, yeah. No, I don't know what I. What, You're a wolf. I, That's a wolf. What is that? I don't that? know what it was. What happened was, we were. I go. She was in the backyard, and I go. I had just woken up. I woke up at three o'clock. I know. I got the text. Right. So I go in the backyard, and she's back there. Well, remember? Okay, first of all, I want to address this real quick. Okay. So, and we had a kind of an argument at the house. Can I just see if you can side with me? Yeah, of okay. course. Go ahead. So, um, <laughs> so Kalila's best friend. Yeah. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday. Okay. I don't want to say her name because I love her. But um, so her, for her birthday, she want, what do they want to do? Go fishing. Go fishing. <gasps> what, at what time? 6 a.m. At, tr- at Troutdale? I don't know which area, but okay. yeah. Oh. So when I was, and they didn't invite me, right? Because it's at 6 a.m. No, that's not true. Well, that's I think the reason why they didn't invite me is because I knew, they knew that I knew that that, <laughs> was rude right wait what's rude just hear me out okay okay if i have a birthday yeah right i'm not gonna call people to go hey you're gonna get up at five in the morning to go to the lake to fish how rude is that well because then my good friends would be like all right Right? Yeah, your best friends would show up anyway. Yeah, but they wouldn't like it. Yeah, but if it's something that you loved, I would do it for you. Just if, if you. Yeah, but I wouldn't wa- see. But that's the thing. I wouldn't want to put you through that. Right. So I'd just be like, I'm gonna go fishing. Right. That's like when I go golfing in the morning. Right. So myself. I was. We had a little argument today. I'm like, you know, it's, I just found that behavior to be rude. Okay, I don't think it's rude, but you think it's rude that they didn't ask you to go, or that I it's, know why they didn't ask me to go because right? it was but six I just in the think morning. That the whole gesture was like kind of. You know, okay. Look at it like this. When you go fishing, you have to get up early to go fishing. You just have to when you're going out. I understand that. So don't invite people. They didn't invite you. (laughs) No, but they invited the. That's why the point, though. You feel left out. No, I'm lost. (laughs) Well, you're you're, no. (laughs) What's rude? The fact that they didn't invite you, or the fact that they wanted to go fishing? I'm going to use the candy corn, (laughs) please, as an example. Please. Okay. Yeah. All right. This is me. Uh, Just about. All right, so this this is me, right? Yeah. These are all my friends. Okay, these are all the people that I consider friends. Got it. Okay. And let's suppose I like to, uh, for my birthday, my desire, right, is to go to um, hike the Sierra Mountains to see the waterfall. You know, it's something even worse. You know what I mean? I like to I like to swim, right? For like some to, reason, yeah. in a septic tank. <laughs> Okay. That's just my desire. I love it. Okay. You all right? Okay. I grew up in fucking Bangladesh. You know, not, not, nothing against people from Bangladesh, right? Right? But like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's just something I want to do. You love swimming in septic, septic tanks. tanks. The nearest, you know I mean, um, public septic tank, <laughs> right? Yeah. That you can swim in, that's legal, right? Is in? Is in Bakersfield. And it only opens between 4 to 6 a.m. Got it. Yeah, I get right? that. Yeah. Let's see. This is something I enjoy doing, right? Yeah. Nobody, <laughs> nobody likes it. Okay. Okay. They're gonna hate it, right? It's disgusting, right? Mm-hmm. Now, do I go by myself, or do I invite these? Now, ninety-five percent of these people, right, won't go. But five percent will. Look at that. That's five percent will. Now these fuckers. So now, now, look, six- now, now it's. 5.30 in the morning, yeah. we're in Bakersfield yeah. in a septic tank. And we're going, wee, 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 right? These guys right here are having the worst time of their lives. Two, so two, two it's of them. It's rude. Two of them hate it. Okay. But the other four are digging it. All right, so they dig it. Yeah, right? they love it. But what about these two right here? Fuck them. That's true. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. I you're think right. you're just mad you didn't get invited. You having, you're having FOMO about something that they you didn't. They didn't invite me. They did? They didn't. Yeah, you're mad that you didn't get invited. Is that Bob. what it is? Yes. What is it, Rudy? Why is he upset that you guys got they they got into it? And Kalila's friend, she loves fishing. Does Kalila like fishing? Yeah. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Okay. They want to go fishing, Bob. You were one of the two candy corns. <laughs> Let me ask you something, Jules. All right. <laughs> All right. And I, you know I can handle your betrayal. You know what I mean it's not betrayal. 
just listen to me because okay. I know the truth. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I can handle your betrayer one or two times a week. Put the knife down. <laughs> We're just having a discussion. All right. Okay. Right. But when it happens every day and you betray Papa Lee, right, every day, right, yeah. it begins to burn a bit. All right. <laughs> and I know that because they didn't end up going this morning because it got foggy and the whole trip was canceled. Because you can't see, right? right? Yeah. And she was relieved. Who was? Jules. Rude. Were you, why? Because you wanted to sleep some more? I didn't say I was relieved. But... I can tell that you were relieved. Be honest. No, I was kind of excited. No, you weren't. Because I'll tell you what I heard back back she, in the backyard. You were excited to not go or you want you were excited to go? To go. She wanted to go. Th that, was, no, 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 no. <laughs> Listen to me, right? This, you think that I'm not an investigative journalist? <laughs> I am. You don't know you don't think that I could put facts together, okay? I go in the backyard and I hear these girls take it. Thank God that thing was canceled. Who said that? Rudy did. All of them. No. Yeah, and you were you were sitting there on the fucking you know yes, going. Right? Is part of this true? No. Oh, 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 but then, you know, this is the betrayal and no more. Tomorrow, wow. you don't betray me again. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Here's another thing that she betrayed me on, right? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you something. If Jules, right, had a play. Yeah, like a school play. A school play, right? Yeah. I think you and I would go opening night, no? 100%. 100%. I wouldn't miss it. Right? You as Huckleberry Finn? I love it. <laughs> Whatever, right? <laughs> so, you know, I'm on that... Netflix thing with Burke Kreischer. Cabin. Right? You know, a lot of people have seen it, right? Yeah, a she couple refuses, million. She refuses to watch it. Why don't you want to watch it, Jules? I didn't say I refuse. Yeah, but you watch everything else. That's I'm the thing. I'm starting, I'm starting you're, it. But you're only starting it now because I gave you shit about it last night. <laughs> no, I was planning to watch it. I just forgot about she it. Forgot Meanwhile, about it. she's watching fucking gooky anime. I'm sorry. I, I want to get fucking <laughs> racial, right? Yeah. And she's like doing other shit, right? Yeah. I just find it to be rude. You know what I mean? With the lie today, the deception today, along with the, that cabin thing. You really want her to watch cabin? Do you really care? It's this. I don't think she'd like it. Right, she won't. I understand that. But it, it's like my brother Steve. My brother Steve, right, doesn't know that I've been in a movie. That's okay. Because he'll never watch it. Yeah, that's great. What's wrong with that? You know, it's, I, 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 don't you think that as a family member or someone that you live with, right, every once in a while they partake in one thing? No. Really? So if I, I, I think whenever I do stuff, I don't want any of my family to watch it. That, that's true f for me too, right? But I like the gesture of it. Like yesterday, right, or a couple days ago, mm. I woke up and I walked into the living room, right, and Coletta's laughing at watching The Cabin, right? Huh. I didn't ask her to watch it, right? It just feels good that she wants to see something that I'm in. How about this? If it was your show. Podcast, no, I don't give a fuck. No, we no. do so many of them. If it was your show, she'd watch it. But that's Bert's show, and you're one of the guys on it. That's why she's not quick to watch it. If it was Bobby Lee's The Cabin, you'd watch it. 100%. Mm. You're a featured comic on Bert's show. It's his show. Mm. No, I just If it was Bobby Lee's uh, Opium Den <laughs> in the woods, uh -huh. she'd watch it. I think that's the truth. Don't you, Rude? Yeah. Also, we got Rudy a pumpkin to carve. We want you to carve a pumpkin. I forgot to ask you. You got to hop to it. That that rooster, that's not my rooster, is it? What do you mean, your rooster? It's mine? Yeah. It's mine. Oh, it's it's from the house. <laughs> you brought my lucky rooster here? Yeah, we want good luck here. No, who brought, who brought Me. it? She did. Okay. <laughs> What is the problem? She's just wanted to up her decor. I said, bring something that expresses yourself. She brought the rooster and the creepy dead baby. Yeah, but the rooster, right, is a personal... Uh, a, uh, well, who is it? Who is it to you? Is it a good friend? All right, Jules, you outline it however you want, but by the end of the podcast, we want a dope pumpkin, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with her bringing in that rooster? I don't understand. You have three. You have three. I know. Where are they from? Those roosters, right, were given to me by a friend of mine, right? He passed away? Yeah. Oh, Rudy. It's a dead guy's rooster. <laughs> I didn't know. What did he die I of? I can't t I talk about it. Oh, no. Is this real? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it in my bones. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Who gave you those roosters? I don't remember. You, you don't know where you got them. Throw them away. No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck. We're gonna keep them. All right, so like back to my original thing from the beginning of the podcast, right? Yeah. Okay. 
so um, I was thinking um, the pros and cons. If you were to have to pick, right, one of those three things to be a Frankenstein, a werewolf, or a vampire, which one would you be? I think I would be. I just, I just love vampire for some. I love vampire. I'm a creature of the night anyway. Bingo. Okay. Mm -hmm. The idea that I, I love sucking on things. I love sucking on stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the idea that you can because they get away with murder because they can they can um, transform. They can so I can suck someone's blood and then phew, turn into a bat and fly uh -huh. away. So you never get caught. Fashionable. Sexy as shit. S sexy. The, Do you think I would have been? Yes, dude. Even as a vampire. A hundred percent. Yeah, because the clothing was so cool. Yeah. Transylvanian clothing that you like. You never see vampires my body size though, huh? Yeah, no, you don't see a little stocky vamp. Yeah. We need to make a, a movie called The Stocky Vamp. Yeah. A little Asian vampire. How come we don't see that? Why is that? Because they're all from um, they're all from uh, Transylvania. Um, which is it? Which is Eastern Europe? I, I, I Frankenstein would like to be. You want bolts it, in your neck? No, but I'll tell you why. Right. Yeah. It'll give me an excuse. You know, no one will ask you. Hey, read this book. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They won't. They won't. Yeah. They won't. Yeah, right. You, you. They would make it right. Yeah. Think about it though. Yeah. I'm Frankenstein. Okay, I can read. Well, you're way. You're the. You're like one of the dumbest guys. Right. You can. An excuse to wander around. Yeah. Get lost. Yeah, you can get lost. You just walk into a girl's changing room. You're right. like, I don't, you don't know. Have to, yeah, yeah. You don't have to worry about fashion. You're fucked up anyway. Well, he wears a suit, and that's it, right? No. Oh. He wears like he's torn clothing, right? Yeah, but it looked. Like, I thought it was an old torn suit. What was it? What did he used to wear? Was it? In his... He used to wear a fucking three piece suit, like a fucking businessman. Was it three? Well, yeah, he was a Wall Streeter, no. wasn't it? What, original what, Frankenstein. What, what, what was he wearing? What was I he? Think wearing? Just rags. Was it really just rags? I just thought it was an old suit that was torn up. I guess it's just a yeah. It's a black sport coat. It's a oh, black. It was a black coat. It was a black. That's fashionable. It's like from Zara. See what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, he looks kind of fashionable. Yeah, he's he's dressed like in he's dressed like really nice. He looks like most LA guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's new LA fashion. He's and look at he's got fucking No, he's dressed like Anthony Jeselnik. Jeselnik <laughs> 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 wear that outfit. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black black shirt, black uh, pretty fashionable. black suit coat, yeah. big shoe. Look, this is what Gucci does now. What all yeah. these new shoes do now. They make big yeah, yeah, yeah. big heeled shoes. Yeah. And also he's got pretty tight jeans on. Yeah, Shelley's Frankenstein. That's yeah, the original. It's OG. OG Frankenstein. One of the funniest movies all the time, Young Frankenstein. Young Frankenstein is incredible. That's a Mel Brooks film. It's totally different. Oh, so funny. So fucking funny. What's anybody, your... anybody listening to right now, it's one of the classics. Right. If you're a young person who doesn't uh, isn't tuned into that stuff, you should watch Young Frankenstein. If you want to be a comedian, uh, you ha that's got to be in your repertoire. Um, that and Dr. Strangelove. Hocus Pocus, also a good uh, Halloween film. Never seen it. What? What a movie. Dr. Strangelove, is that what you just said? It's not a Halloween movie, but, no. it's a, but for a comedy. Yeah, Dr. Strangelove is great. Um, you know what costume they had today that I almost bought was um, Clockwork Orange. They had Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange characters. But I didn't want to... I, I thought you... I, it was not... You couldn't really tell. Just suspenders and then... I, like, what else? It's just a white shirt it with black... It could be a, a ska. You know what I mean? Like, the ska... Like, yeah, it could yeah, be in the special. It's not specific enough. Yeah. Yeah, it's not specific enough. But that movie, though, man... Young Frankenstein? No. Doc, uh, Doctor Strange? No. Or, oh, Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. Kubrick makes phenomenal shit. Yeah, but that movie... Fucked with my, fucked with my head when I first saw when it. When I first saw it as a kid, yeah. it fucked with my mind. Because I grew up in the suburbs yeah. with a bunch of like track homes and you know white people. Yeah. And when you watch a movie like that, you just kind of... First of all, I thought at, at put time in, in a, for a second that, is this real? Yeah. Do people... Like, it, it, it's, it, it's like a... Alternative post-apocalyptic, not post um It's an alternative world. It's kind of like a. Um, it's not real in the not so distant future, but it's not real. It's not real. But right. in my mind, I'm like, is this what England's like? Kind of. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Where they have like you know statues, and you can just drink milk out of the breast. Milko Velosets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and they get, and then what did they trip on that? Right? Wasn't it like? Yeah. Uh, what a great fucking movie, man. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. That's probably one of my favorite. What's your favorite of the newest? Do you like Friday the Thirteenth? Do you like? Jason, uh, Halloween. Um, I think uh, out of the newest one. Hold on, I think hold on. Hellraiser. Freddy, Freddy, okay, Freddy Krueger, which is which is uh, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh -huh. Friday the Thirteenth, which yeah. is uh, Jason Voorhees. Halloween, the series, which is Michael Myers, mm -hmm. or Hellraiser, are the I think are four of our generations. Uh, I think Hellraiser was the one that like kind of. I think the first Friday uh, Friday the 13th freaked me out. No, Nightmare on Elm Street freaked me out. Freddy yeah. Cooper. Yeah. 
But when I saw Hellraiser, I went... Because you had never seen like characters like that before. Right, it was wild as fuck. It looked, it's not really hell. It was more like a different dimension of hell or whatever. Right. And it was like, these characters are so fucking... Sc- can you do that quieter? <laughs> And can you do quieter though? Because I'm talking. <laughs> you just hadn't seen Pinhead was something you. Are you wrestling a boar? What the fuck are you doing? It's hard. They put a little animal in there. Oh. Do it on the desk. You don't want. Is it no leverage? Is that why? Yeah. Yeah. Can I take this off? It's hurting my brain. No. It really hurts. It's okay. No, it, it pinches. It's for the fans. Do you not care about the fans? I know, but it's affecting the way I do. Take it, it off. That's fine. Why are you so angry all the time? No, no, no. I'm just like a, like a grown-up. I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I know. I know. Leave I it just, on. Because I, I, you, you, you have what... <laughs> I'm going to tell you what you have. I'm going to tell you what you have. Oh, it looks so tight. There's a dent on your forehead. I'm not. I'm actually not what? kidding. There's two dents on your forehead because it, it was so tight. so fucking brad. Why was that so tight? I know, but it... That's Pull why, your hair back and show the middle camera. That's why it's fucked... <laughs> <laughs> There's dents on your forehead. I know, that's why it's fucked me up all podcasts because I, I have this pain right here. It's squeezing my brain. Oh, dude, why is that? Well, well then you should just say that. Because I didn't want to ruin the fucking Halloween thing that you wanted to do. You did a great job. Right? But it was fucking giving me a headache and all, all right. of a sudden now all I have right. a splitting headache. Have some candy corn and chill. Okay. You're okay. Put on your headphones, Papa. This episode is sponsored by Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. Blue Chew works more than anything I've ever tried. Yeah, the gas yeah, station yeah. stuff is blah, 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 blah. blah. Doesn't yeah, work. Yeah. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but it's way better. Blue Chew works for me every time. Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Blue Chew is prescribed online by licensed physicians, so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in a discreet package, so no one will know your business. It's simple, it's easy. Bob and I say yes, yes to the Blue Chew. They're made here in the United States of America, and they're cheaper the, than most of the stuff that you're going to get way anyway. Cheaper, yeah. So we got a deal for our listeners. Fellas, if you're looking to get some more blood flow down to the penile area, visit bluechew.com, get your first shipment for free when you use our special promo code, Bad, bad friends. friends pay five bucks for shipping again blue chew.com promo codes bad friends is try it it's the better cheaper choice we thank them for sponsoring us because when you support our sponsors they support us you help make this possible please be sure to check out uh blue chew at blue chew.com the promo code is bad friends bad friends buffy i'll tell you what i don't you generally trust you andrew i know you say anything, that but with the, these this comforter and these sheets it's the best you really turned me on to something wonderful. All right, so check it out. I got a Buffy from Buffy. Yeah. Got you a Buffy. Yeah. Then uh, was redoing the second the, the guest room in my house. Mm-hmm. Got myself another Buffy. Yeah. Because I want my guests to be as comfortable as I am, all right? Yeah. If you don't know about Buffy, it's incredible. Uh, it's soft. Uh, the hemp collection, they feature sheets, pillowcases, uh, shams, so duvet colors. It's so comfortable. Jewel uses it in her room, even though she doesn't deserve it. <laughs> you know, because Buffy is for, um, to me... Kings and queens. Kings and queens. Yeah, and people that deserve it. Yeah, that deserve to if sleep well. If you want well. comfort in your life, right, mm-hmm. and really good, high-quality stuff, right, get Buffy. Buffy's soft hemp is super rich, and it's earth-friendly. It absorbs five times more CO2. The earth, I, I talked to the earth. Yeah, you did? Oh, yeah, about three weeks ago. What'd it say? And my earth goes, earth, just with one thing, Buffy. Buffy. Yeah. Hey, earth. Earth loves it. Earth loves Buffy. Yeah, yeah. It's naturally resistant to, to pests, so there's no gross herbicides. It naturally improves the soil so it can grow in the same pot year after year. Hemp is great. Their soft hemp fabric is dry to the touch. Let me tell you something. You got to get yourself a Buffy. It is so beyond worth it. You will not sweat at night. You won't get too hot. You yeah. won't get too cold. It makes you feel good. I love it. I yeah. have, I have. We have it all over our house, and I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, our fans right now... Uh, can get twenty dollars off your first Buffy purchase. Go to visit Buffy.co. Enter the code Bad Friends. Bad friends. Also, Buffy offers a free trial, so you can try their stuff for free. All right. If you don't love them, they'll reimburse you the money. Okay. Yeah. What do you have to lose? They'll give you back the money if you don't like it. You must try Buffy. It's incredible. Go to their website. Buy one of these things. You will not regret it. I love it. Buffy.co and enter the code Bad Friends. Look, I for me for me personally. I thought Freddy Krueger was easily the scariest because he comes in your fucking dreams. So that always panicked me out, right? Michael Myers was like just a real guy who was a murderer. 
right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Michael Meyer was a murderer. J- Jason wasn't just a regular guy, though. No, he was not. But I'm saying he Freddy, was like a guy from a lake. But Freddie, li- yeah, he came out of the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Freddie lived in this alternative universe, which is why I thought it was so cool as a kid that like he could come in your dreams, but he could exist in your real life. But who knows if that was actually still in your dream or if it was real? That, that's true. That's why I. Lo- that's why I thought that was such a wild concept. But here's another reason why, right? That he makes him scary. Hmm. He molested. Wasn't who, he a molester? Who was? Freddy Krueger. No, was he? Freddy Krueger was a was a was a Chester the molester guy. The sweater though, that's a molesting. It sweater. is. <laughs> it does look like a molest. Yeah, to me, who looks like the most? Maybe like the, a, he wasn't. It's just the sweater makes it seem like he was a molester. Well, he always went after kids. How about that's why? Yeah, I always made made no, the that's connection the that they, he molested. You're them. right, actually, because he only come to kids' dreams because adults can't. Adults don't. Yeah. Right? Isn't that what it was? Adults don't really see him in their dreams. But with Jason, killed adults. Michael definitely killed adults. Yeah. Yeah, you're right that Freddie went after like specifically young kids. Young kids, yeah. Ew. I think there was a molesting vibe. Yeah, That's he what's was. That's what was scary about him to me. Which one of them, which one of them seems, which one of those four guys? Who I would like who be would friends you, with? Yeah, who'd you hang out with? Well, who'd be my top 10 friends on um, MySpace? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Well, because I, number one, I don't want to die. Yeah, that's why you want them on their on right. Your team. So I, to me, like, well, obviously not Freddie because yeah. No, what? You, wait. So my friend, who do? Who am I picking not to kill me? Or who? Who would I be tr- trust who enough would, to be my who, friend? Okay, look. Who would you be? Here we are, right? A dinner party. Right. Who would right. invite to a dinner party? And and somebody's no no no. And somebody goes, Bob. I heard you're friends with Jason Voorhees. Yeah. Why? Well, because um. I'll be honest with you, right? Please. Jason helped me build a gazebo once. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does have that chainsaw. Well, he has a chainsaw, yeah, but also I was at the lake. Yeah, right. And I had this whim to um, build a gazebo. Over the, overlooking the lake. Well, there's a lot of wood, mm-hmm. right? And I'd never built one before, oh. right? And I couldn't chop the tree down because at the time I was 14 years old, mm-hmm. right? And I have the strength, mm-hmm. right? And so I was working on this tree all day long trying to chop it down, right? Mm-hmm. And all of a sudden I hear like a little rumbling in the back. Right, I turn around, and there's a guy there, right, with a. Uh, I thought he was. I thought it was Gordy Howe at first. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so you had a hockey I was mask. in Canada. Yeah, and I go, I thought it was. Hey, Gord- what are you doing there, Bob? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought it was Gordy Howe, and I go, oh, I'm a big fan. Can you, you know? And he goes, you didn't really say anything. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I um, say, you, you want to help me build a gazebo? And he's treat, he, he started. Yeah. Wait, wait. Was 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 um, Jason a chainsaw guy or axe? I thought I thought Michael Myers was an axe and Jason was a chainsaw. I don't think either one of them had chainsaws. Yes. Yeah. Jason. No. Jason Voorhees had a chainsaw. I th- I'm almost positive he had a chainsaw. Yeah, dude. What do you mean? The fucking. Is he Canadian? Yeah. Yeah. No, being real. No, he's from Alberta. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's from Banff National Forest. He lives in uh, off Lake Louise. He's got a nice little bungalow there. Three bed, three bath. It's on Airbnb if you'd like to yeah. rent. Keep it down. <laughs> Keep it down. So yeah, mach- this machete was almost the, the most recognizable. Uh-huh. This was constant, but the chainsaw was a thing. He had a chainsaw, I think, in the very first. Yeah. Jason Voorhees. What a cool name, Voorhees. Based on something real, I I think. I, don't, I just don't know any better. And Freddy Krueger, right, you say Freddy, you think looks like... Um, a molester. You do you think he looks molestery, huh? Dude, look at it. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hey kids. <laughs> yeah. Get in the bus, kids. Come on, I've got plenty of Snickers bars. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he does seem molestery. Are you also, fucking kidding? It's maybe the colors here, but your shirt looks like the the molesting shirt from uh from Freddy Krueger. Burn. Maybe it's the colors here, but you look like the molester with that shirt on, he said. He has a thing against me. Fancy B? <laughs> yeah, because I remember when he was doing the stand-up stuff, we do- and he was doing like the roasting and stuff. And he was crushing? And he- yeah, but he- He murdered. He digs really hard at me. So what? That's what, st- he was doing stand-up. Yeah, there's also a little, whenever I see him now here too, yeah. there's a standoffishness about him. Why? What do you think it is? It's either he thinks he's better than me, or that he um, doesn't respect me. Fancy, are either of those things true? Not at all. You guys said that you have to punch up in comedy, and I can't think of anyone higher, you know, to punch up. To. Oh, that's real nice. Punching up in comedy. He's not punching down, see? 
That's yeah. respect. He's saying you're the tip top. Yeah. How about this? Would you like to look? Since it's Halloween, listen. Since it's Halloween, I can't eat anymore. I believe in ghouls and ghosts and goblins, and I believe in the afterlife mm -hmm. very much. Oh. I believe your spirit can sometimes stick around. Your father passed away. Okay, <laughs> rest in peace, Papa Lee. Mm -hmm. Right. I brought something in case you feel the need or inclination. Yeah. Have you ever talked to your dad? If you brought my dad's ashes. <laughs> have you ever spoken to your father? I have. You have? Yeah. I'm thinking we could contact him. I brought a Ouija board. <laughs> no, no, I can't do it. Please? No, I, there's, I'm not doing a Ouija board. Let's contact your dad. Please. <laughs> no, I, the, uh, no, uh, Please. No, no, wait, stop, stop, stop. I'll, I'll be real, dude. Put your hand, put, it's, it's, no, it's on, just on. one hand. No, hold on. It's one hand. Do you know, it. No, no. Let's do it. You want to you wanna get haunted at night? It is real. I know, and we're going to respect it. We're not. We have every idea. So am I. I know it's real. So? You just have to say goodbye, and it closes the door. You start on Ouija. Here's the rules. Put your headphones on, put your mic back. Here's the rules. You start on Ouija. Oh, that's not good. Blown out a candle to begin is a bad omen. <laughs> oh boy, is that not good. Now you're now that's actually scary to me. I know, but that's what it's supposed to do. It's a crickle crackle candle. <laughs> Put on your headphones and get your microphone near your mouth. Okay? The proper way to do this is for you put a you put a hand and I put a hand. Okay? Alright, here we go. Bob, hold on. Listen. Listen to me. We're going to con contact your pops. Okay? What's his name again? Robert. Robert E. Lee. Yeah. Bob Lee. We have to say goodbye at the end, otherwise his spirit will still remain. Okay. All right? Uh -huh. Now put your two hands on. Two hands. Okay. Now calmly and slowly, the bravest amongst us asks the first question. Okay. So go ahead. Uh, Dad, are you in heaven? I'm not touch. I am not moved. Look. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. You have to be. No, I'm not. I promise. Why is I it moving? What is it? What is it? T. T. Yeah. What does that say? I can't read. I can't see it. What is it? T G. T G. I don't know what it is. What's T G? He's at T G I Fridays. <laughs> He loved he loved TGI Fridays. Are you being serious? Yeah, he loved TGI Fridays. That's his favorite fucking restaurant. Well, let's ask him another question. Obviously, he's having fun. This is he fun. See, there's a, TG, there's a TGI, TGI Fridays, Fridays in, in heaven. heaven. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> let's ask. Okay. okay. Um, I want to ask him a question about you. Do you miss Bobby? Do you miss Bobby? D lightly, lightly. Put your finger. No, don't lean. Don't lean your weight on it. it Should be like this. I'm not. You're pulling. It. I'm not. I swear to God, I'm not. Look. Lightly. <laughs> You're pulling. No, I'm not. Strong. I'm not. You're so strong. I'm not. I did not pull it. Because I tried to pull it, wouldn't pull my way. I'm not pulling it. Come here. You have You're to go. Have strong fingers. I am not pulling it. You have strong fingers. Do you miss Bobby, Bob Lee? I'm not. You have to be pulling. I'm not. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm not. You're pulling and pushing it my way. No, I'm not. What's that? It says U. The letter U. Does he miss you? No, so what was the question? Does he miss you? Okay, let's get that, that, let's get the other letters. Alright. What is that? M. UM? Oh, I know what it is. What's UM? So ask me if I'm I'm the dad. Ask me. Mr. Lee, do you miss do you miss um. uh, Bobby? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he doesn't Okay. No, he's thinking about it. Um. Um. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Or you and 
the University of Montana. Is there a, Mon- is there a University of Montana? Of course there is. <laughs> that would be real. Home of the Buff Bluffs. Yeah. <laughs> the Buff Bluffs are The Buff Bluffs are up there. Oh, God. So maybe that has something to do with it. Because my, my dad lived in Montana for a bit. What? U.M. Bo- Bobby, uh, Mr. Lee, tell us, what's the one thing... What's the one thing that you would ask Bobby now about what's going on in his life? What do you want to know about Bobby? What do you... Yeah, what do you want to know about me, Dad? Yeah, what do you Would you? Oh, my God. What is that? G? You have to recenter it. Go back to the Ouija and recenter it. Put your fingers on lightly. Why are you pulling? I'm not. Oh, my God. A? G A? Why? Gay. <laughs> you are pulling it with your fucking Say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Dad. Good Bye, Dad. Bye. Oh, my God. That thing is so dumb. Ooh. Yeah. Are you happy we connected with your dad? I miss him. You do? Yeah. Do you miss him? The, uh, do you miss him at night or during the day the most? I don't. There's no particular time. It's just sometimes it just comes in a wave of like. Um, it's almost as if he didn't like. I didn't accept that he was gone, or, you know, it's like, if I really think about it, it's like, oh, he's dead. Right. But then it's like I. I think I pretend that he's alive somewhere, like living in like um, Quebec. Maybe he is. Yeah, but I saw his body. But but that's just the shell. That's just the... Yeah. His soul could be living on. That's why I believe in ghosts and apparitions. They're living on somewhere else. Yeah. Look at you. When you said there's science explanation to everything, there's a little thing inside of your body, a heart, right? It beats, it beats because of what? What? Why does your heart beat? Because of the blood flowing into your, your heart. Now, what creates blood flow? What creates blood? Um, your brain. Well, b- well, oxygen helps blood flow, right? That too. Okay, which goes to your brain and your heart, and it circulates throughout your body. Mm-hmm. Why does your heart just have a beat rhythm to it? There's no it's batteries. Pumping. pumping. Yeah, well, how? What's making it pump? I don't know. You have an electrical force inside of your electrical body. Electrical force inside right. of my so body. Right, so you do. You're, you're, you have electricity inside of your body, right? Yeah, like... Um... So when you die... You just think it goes away? No. It transfers to something else magical in the universe. This could be your dad. Your dad could be in this guy. This could be Mr. Lee. This could be Bob Lee's father. This could be Bob Lee, Robert Lee. Yeah. They transfer he, energy. He doesn't sing. No? He's never sung before, yeah. So if this was your dad, you sing the song that he would sing if this was your father. He doesn't know how to sing, but... Uh, L- let me hear you sing. If this was your dad, what would he sing? Okay, uh, ready? Well, turn it off. I'll, t- I'll just do it. Okay. Bobby Bobby didn't get good grades in high school. He always did the drug. He stole $10,000 from the safe in the closet. He, I caught him masturbating one time. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Wait a minute! You stole ten grand from them? Yeah. Out of their safe? Yeah. Why? 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 Why did you for drugs? Meth. Isn't meth not that expensive? And others, other things. How much is meth? I'm serious. Back then, no. What What happened was I. If I want to go get meth right now, I don't know. I haven't had. I haven't done meth since I was 17. What? Okay. Back then, when you got meth, what does meth cost? You go to your guy and you say, "Yo, give me fucking uh, uh, what?" I don't remember, but um, I would assume I would probably give them. 50 bucks for like a tiny rock like that. And you crush it up? I would crush it up. And you'd snort, snort it? it? Yeah. You never smoked it? Mm-mm. Why not? Because I didn't know how to do it. I didn't have the, like, because I didn't really, um, there was no, there's no like head shop in mm-hmm. my town. Mm-hmm. 
So you wouldn't know where to get like pipes and stuff. I think you, you'd use tin foil, but like I didn't know how to do it. No one around me did it. So, so snorting we just snorted it. Yeah. And I didn't steal ten grand like um, in one shot. Yeah, you just slowly were stealing. Yeah, I stole about ten grand through a period of like a year and a half. And what did he say when he caught you? He never caught me. He fired a bunch of people. What? <laughs> okay, so what happened was on Friday, my dad had five clothing stores. Mm-hmm. They were called Fashion Gal. <laughs> yes. Okay. So he had five Fashion Gals, one yeah. in Encinitas, one in Escondido, a bunch, bunch of places. And on Fridays, when I had my license, right, he tell he told me to um, pick up the money. So uh, being a drug addict, right? I go, I I I I asked for that job. I go, you know, after school I could just you know go pick them up for you, so you can play golf or whatever. Was so, you, your dad a good golfer? Oh yeah, he's a, uh, won a lot of awards. What do you mean won a lot of awards? Trophies, I mean. From what tournaments? Uh, where at a do you guys at a country club? Yeah, we yeah Stone Ridge Country Club. We, <laughs> Yeah. You are fancy. That's right. So um, on Fridays, I would go to all the stores. Yeah. And the lady or whoever was the manager would put all the money in a brown paper bag. What? You guys didn't have like a staple. And what? And I would take all the money. He would put it in the safe at home. And then on Mondays, he would deposit it in the bank. Right. Right? Right. So I, I would go to all. And I, had, I went and bought my own stapler. <laughs> <laughs> so right. you could restable the bag? Yeah. You're such a bad kid. Right. So I would go to each store, right? I would take a couple hundred bucks, right? But eventually it didn't match up with the books. So people started getting fired. Because of you? Yeah. Because of a 16 year old who was stealing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like adults who had jobs like, got fired? I don't know, dad. I, you tell me to pick it up. That was my excuse. And you think it was about 10 He grand. would never think that I would be the one. So he, over like a period of year, year and a half, I would just... Eventually, it turned out to be like ten grand or whatever. So every week you were doing this. Oh yeah, for a for two a year and, and a half. It supported my drug habit. Wow. Yeah, ingenious. It's pretty smart. Yeah, crafty. Stupid for him to give you the access to that money. Yeah, but then and when I went to rehab, I told him. And what did he say? He was so livid. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. What did he say? He didn't really say anything. His his just face turned all red and all the veins popped in his forehead when I told him. But you're in a rehab with counselors and stuff. It was like a safe space to say mm-hmm. it, right? And then um, he felt really bad for firing people. Did he ever talk to those people again? I think he did something. I don't know what he did, but I think he did do something. Called them and was, because he blamed people. He was like, you're stealing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so fucked up, Bob. I know. Did your mom ever say anything to you or she let you just get away with shit? Well, she didn't know. I know, but when she found out, did she reprimand you or no? No, I went to rehab. When you're in rehab, that's it's safe, baby. That's such bullshit. It's such a cop out. No, it's not. If I stole ten grand from zone. my parents, they'd wait for me to get out, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, you, you good?" <laughs> and they beat the shit out of me when I got out. But you, you my to, mom would throw fists. You have to also understand that I did living amends. That doesn't. I look. Ed, f- living amends is pure and simple. This effect. this this addict idea that like because you're an addict and when you apologize, like all is forgiven. People can still want to knock you the fuck out for that. Like, your dad should have beat the shit out of you for that. No. Yes. Oh, see, what you're saying to me is this, right? Yeah. I'm strung out on drugs. Yeah. Right? On the precipice of death. Mm-hmm. Okay? Mm-hmm. They're worried that I'm going to die. I know. Get right? better. We miss you. We love you. So they then they put me in a 45-day treatment center. Yeah, for like 100 grand. Yeah, for like 100 grand. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's insane. Because we had no health insurance. No, I know. Those right? are, well, they don't pick so up. Out of pocket, right? right? And I went to three. What? Yeah. Three different ones? Yeah. Jesus, dude. You went, you went, you got your fucking, you got your bachelor's, your master's, and your doctorate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, but one of them wasn't an actual trip. It was a, more of a detox kind of a place. Right. But the two were full-fledged. Ocean View Recovery Center and the McDonald's Center is where I went. Did they have McDonald's food there? <laughs> yeah. They do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Ronald McDonald does. I don't know. Ron uh, McDonald, you know that's a family member of mine. It's my uncle, Uncle Ron. Yeah. So anyway, um, so you're in a treatment center, 45 days. They're not going to beat the shit out of you when you leave. See, I would. I still would. I would say I'm glad you're healthy and you're alive and you're not on drugs, but I'm, I'm I got to get you back for what you did. 
What if I said as a son, I go, listen, I know I fucked up. I'll pay. I'll make it up to you. How? By working at the store, which is what I did mm -hmm. for free mm -hmm. until I'm paid off my debt. But don't most Asian kids work for their parents' store for free anyway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up with a kid whose parents owned a dry cleaners right up the street from us, and yeah. he, he worked there forever. Great kid, awesome family. But I, and I always thought, I bet you, I bet you they're giving him good money to work for. No. The he, fear, though, is this. I remember being at the store, mm -hmm. and my dad would say things like, one day this is all yours, right? Or something <laughs> like that. And then you would have this dread going, I don't want to do this. Fashion girl? Fashion gal. Was it only women's clothes? Yeah, well, it was like... I think it was Elaine Bryant for ethnic women. <laughs> it was plus size clothing for ethnic women? Yeah, because it, it was a lot of Samoans women that would shop there. Yeah. You know I mean? Not, nothing against, I love Samoans, but yeah. a lot of <laughs> heavier Hispanic women. Just so it's, it's a big women's clothing store. Why did your, why but would then you? there was skinny stuff too, but mostly fat stuff I felt like. Why'd your dad get into thicker, your mom was a tiny person. Yeah. So she couldn't wear it. Mm. So wh why would your dad get into thick women's clothing? I don't know how they, maybe... Um, Do you know how the business started? I've never asked you about your dad's business. Well, my dad, well, he started in the wig, wigs. <laughs> you know I was born in a wig store, right? No. Yeah. You were? I was born in a wig store. Really? Yeah, in San Diego. Like on a pile of wigs? I do, I, but, but this is the scariest thing. Your mom heard. is about to give birth and she, your dad's like, lay down on a pile of wigs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but here's the scary part. Huh? So, my my parents owned a wig store in downtown San Diego, right? Which I was born there, mm -hmm. right? And um, time real fast. Why didn't you go to the hospital? Not enough time. No, I, no. There was a hospital down the street. I, went, I was born there, but I. Oh, I thought have, you meant you were born in oh, the no, wig was, shop. No, she didn't get birth in the wig store. I don't know. Those Asians are hard workers. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> it's not like they fucking. You know what I mean? Had an eight-hour shift. They're like, "Oh well, we have to, we have to work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do it here." No, no. I was born in Sharp Hospital, but then I lived in the wig store. You guys lived there. But here's the thing. So then, when my parents, my dad started Fashion Gal, my uncle took over the wig store, right? So all my life, you know, what I mean, even in high school and even when I was a stand-up, right, in my twenties, I could go to that wig store and it's still there, right? Wow. And the, but here's the scary part. Is one time I was there, my uncle goes, come up here for a second. So there's upstairs. It's an old building. It's still around. He sold it, but uh. it's still there. And um, he brings me into this room where they have broken mannequin mannequin heads. Oh, so creepy. Right, so there's all these shelves, right? Ooh. And it, also, these mannequin heads are from the fucking 60s and 70s. Yeah. Right? And you can tell that the, no one goes in this room. Right. It is, like cobwebs, right? Mannequin heads, right? But also all the plastic is off the eyes, oh, right? And cracked. So creepy. Right? And in the middle of this fucking, right, is a cradle. A baby it's a cradle thing? Oh, you, you slept in there? When you would take a nap, that's where they'd put you? When I was a kid, since we didn't have a house, Ew. my parents lived in that wig store illegally. Ew. Right? And so... He goes, this is where you, right? And you could just see all these heads <laughs> staring down on me. That's so fucking creepy. It's so creepy. Ew. Do you remember growing up there at all? Like, do you remember vivid I don't images remember, of- No, but I do remember being raised by- um, Mannequins? 80 people, it felt like. People would always just come and go. Staring, maybe it was my first audience. Oh, shit. Right? Yeah. Maybe that's how I learned to perform. You talk to the mannequins. Yeah, yeah. Like, but, this guy knows um, what I'm talking about. Yeah, I grew up in a wig store. Bob. What? That's so sad. Why? Because it's just like such like a sad immigrant tale, and I'm really happy that you- <laughs> what, what? It's not human trafficking. I, I wasn't like- I don't know. know. I, I don't know. I, I, it sounds so what close. Mean? What do you mean? Just like the kid in the attic and stuff around the dead around the mannequins that are fucked up and like downstairs they're doing something illegal and wrong and yeah they probably had a conversation and they're like we can't we can't sell them no one wants to buy them <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> they try but, yeah, but my brother got a real house I think as a baby right when he grew up he was you guys had been in the house at that point right yeah we got a house then but like I remember um, my uncle showing me that shit it was just like 
Did it bum you out? No, but I, it, I, it, no, it's almost as if like, cause I didn't know that. That would bum me out if I saw that. No, I, I was in there. And I'm like, wait, why is there a cradle here? And he goes, there you, you <laughs> sleep there, right? And I go, what? I looked at him, my uncle. I go, what the fuck? I why, slept here. Why would they keep it? What? Why would they keep the cradle? I, as if we moved out, right? Mm-hmm. My uncle bought the store, and my uncle went, just close the door forever. <laughs> <laughs> No one ever come back in here, right? <laughs> yeah. Because it was in the end of this hallway upstairs, right? It was also, there's no electricity either on that side of the- Oh my God. Right, so you, you would walk and it get darker and darker as you go down this hallway. Yeah. And then by the end of the hallway, it's pretty pitch black, right? Mm-hmm. And then when you would open the door, it was as if like the walls had openings in them. Like holes punched through To them? the outside. So there's light beaming in. This is a horror movie. No. You grew up in a horror no. movie. So there's light beaming in, right? Yeah. So that's what I remember. That's so fucked up. That's like a creepy, creepy memory. Yeah. Light shining through this yeah. tattered electricity less room tucked away in the corner of a wig shop in San Diego. Yeah. No wonder mom, you did meth. I remember my mom. I remember when my mom, you know, ethnic women, they don't know the fucking rules. Right. I remember my mom, we were at a mall. We lived, then we moved to Minnesota. We were in a mall. I don't know why this brought this memory brought up, but it's funny to me, right? Mm. And I remember being in the mall and my mom swimming in the fountain. <laughs> of the mall? Yeah. Just like no big, like that's totally normal. Just yeah, I, and, yeah, my mom would do like things like that. Like, like I knew as a kid socially, mm-hmm. you throw pennies in there, mom. Yep. Right? My mom's in there like wait, you know, doing, you know, washing her feet and like, you know what I mean? And like people walking by going. Did security come? No. Nobody cared. And then my mom would also do this. She would go like, we'd be at the North County Fair, which mm. is another mall by my house when we lived, when we came back to San Diego. Yeah. And my mom would go, I'm tired. And we're at the mall. Let's go home. No, but I still have to shop. And then she would just take a nap. In the middle of the mall? Not in the middle of the mall, like off to the side, you know what I mean, on a bench or something. Just squat and sleep? And she would just sleep there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> and my mother was just wandering around like, <laughs> it's so embarrassed because at that time we were like, you know, um, Like 12, teens. 10, 12. Yeah, yeah, teeny, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So we're like. Yeah, you care so much about looking mom. cool. Yeah, yeah. You're like, we're going to Hot Topic. Later, mom. Yeah, I love when they don't know the rules. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. they just do whatever they want. Because there's these weird social things that I guess. Don't exist over there. Also, why do they exist? Why can't you take a nap in the mall? Could just go home. But why can't you do that though? Mm, just why go can't home. you go to the fountain where there's water and wade your feet in it? Because it gets dirty. Then that's that's gross. That's, that's true. unsanitary. It's true. Yeah. If your mother had a cut, she could get infected, bacteria, she could die. It's <laughs> <laughs> a I terrible know. idea. I'm just saying though, but uh, Oh, so I'm telling you why. <laughs> why yeah. why we have rules in America. Yeah. Oh, I see. We can't just sleep in malls and sway, wait in the fountains. But yeah, but I do think. Well, I told you about the jug of piss. What? So this is so funny. So when I so now I'm a comic. You know, I'm on Mad TV. Mm-hmm. Okay, killing it. And I go, um, Dad, you got because they had one fashion guy left. Yeah. In some broken down mall. They just slowly closed in down Phoenix, Arizona, over time, right? Yeah, but it, they changed the name. It was called Changes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like exactly what's going on in his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. changes, just changes. And so my brother and I, did, did, we drive to Phoenix to do a surprise visit. Is that where your uncle lives too? Right? No, my par- my uncle lives in San Diego. Oh, so I go. Um, let's go to Changes and visit Dad. So we sh- visit my dad, and there's no one in the mall. So sad. It's like a dead mall. Yeah. Right? Do, you remember, do you remember where no it was? No traffic. In Scottsdale. So Not Scottsdale. No, in like Fashion Mesa Square. or Gilbert, in one of those t- towns. Right. <laughs> and we go in. Why, why'd you make that face? Mm, opinion. What do you mean? I have opinion. Go ahead. Tell me the opinion. I went to Arizona State. I lived in Phoenix, so I know all about it. So what What? what, what Mesa and Gilbert, what, mm. what is it about them? It's not as nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay it's okay they're okay they're yeah, they're that's they're... where my mom lives now in mesa yeah she does yeah mesa's gotten much nicer as time and honestly when i was there it was different okay it was just a little bit like uh uh-uh, you don't go uh, yeah, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah but now that's where all the fucking the 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 uh, uh there. no 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 the, the 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 um 
Spring training baseball is all in Mesa now. It's cool. fucking. I mean, it, it was too then, but the neighborhoods have gotten significantly nicer. So we go and visit the changes, and my dad's standing there. We're in this the store empty mall, mm. right? And we go, Dad. He's so happy. He says, "Oh, my sons!" You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we go around, right? And my da my dad's zipper, <laughs> my dad's zipper is undone. Is his dick out? Well, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it like, turns out it was like father, like son, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we look down, and there's a gigantic plastic bought like a jug like what you would put water in like a like a valley spring yeah, yeah like, like a sparklets yeah, bottle yeah <laughs> filled with urine like a five gallon jug yeah, of urine filled up with urine did he not have a bathroom at the store he goes i can't afford a i cannot afford employee so if i have to go to the bathroom because the bathroom was way down on the other end of the mall this is so sad i know i have to pee here <laughs> <laughs> who emptied it I guess he just, that's why he got a big one. So he just. So a week, accumulate a week, and after maybe on a Friday, he would like, you know what I mean? Just throw it in the fucking gigantic Dude, the funniest the image in my head of your dad. Like, you know how the sparklet bottles have handles on them to carry? Yeah, yeah. So your dad just carrying two sparklet <laughs> bottles. As he leaves them all, he's like, have a good night. Hey, just, hey, dude, hey, yeah. Two jugs of piss. Yeah. It was. Uh, that's so sad he couldn't afford him. That was at the last store. That was it, huh? Then retired, and then I um didn't, and then I was just like, I don't know what to do. We got a closed store. We yeah. got a little store. So, um, did he, was he going to give it to you and your brother? Was that like a thing? No. He was never going to. There's no way. There wasn't, it wasn't making any money. So I decided to send them money every month. When you started making money? Yeah, I've been sending them my parents' money ever since then. You send them the same amount of money every day? $500 every... a month. Wow. Because you were like, I want to just make sure that they're I okay. Just, I go, how much is all this shit going to cost? Right. You know what I mean? Food, give me food, your phone bill, all that shit. Tell me everything. And I'm going to send you this, right? You close that fucking store down. It's a money drainer. Because it was just losing right? money. We'll, I'll, you know what I mean? We'll pay mortgage on the fucking house that you have here, right? And just chill. But then they sold the San Diego, and now your mom's out there. No. This is all in Arizona. Oh, that was all in Arizona. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Is she happy out there in Arizona? Oh, my God. I'm going to show you something. This is so sad. Yeah. I feel so bad. Yeah. I don't. I you, know. You just talk shit about my mom every time we bring it up. So, And I haven't said yeah. anything mean about her so far, about your mom. You, you talk about her cross eyes and stuff. But it's it's one is just obviously lower and crossy. It's just... it's Yeah. Like that picture when I go through your Instagram sometimes. Your mom is a chupacabra. Huh? <laughs> huh? Chupacabra. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. All right. So if you talk about my motherfucking mom, yeah, right again, mm -hmm. right, your mom mm -hmm. is a fucking beast. Mm -hmm. Remember that, mm -hmm. and she spawned mm -hmm. a fucking dirty beast mm -hmm. like you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you guys are fucking animals, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, at nights I hear coyotes, mm -hmm. right? I go, Mrs. Santino. Mm -hmm. I'll yell that on the That's fucking. Not even English. her name. That's not even her name. Whatever her name is. Yeah, you don't know. You know what I mean, well, you know, I don't know the, her language. I don't know that language, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So don't ever fucking come at my, me about my mm -hmm. mom. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah. I take a bath in the fountain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is our exchange, my mom and I. Yeah. F since the pandemic. Every night, she sends me a meme, <laughs> right? <laughs> Beautiful and sunny day. Not too hot or cold. The perfect weather. Aww. Love, Uma. At first, I thought this was Hiroshima. <laughs> it's right? a sunset I know but at first I was like what the fuck she's lost her mind right right she'll send me this good night and sweet dream and just some that's really sweet flowers that's yeah, cute but she does it every fucking night and what do you send back Bob Bob I'll say stuff like stay safe out there mom please I love you that's love you sweet. mother that's nice you know what I mean she sent me this the other night I'm not perfect but I'm always myself that's your, That's really sweet. Yeah. She's a sweet woman. And then I never woman. even read this. Let's, let, let's read it together. Yeah, let's hear. <laughs> if you knew how hard it was, how long it took to rebuild my little universe of peace and happiness, then you would understand why I'm so picky about who I allow in my life. Hmm. I don't get it. Is your mom like a teenage white girl? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's yeah. the weirdest. That's so strange. It's so strange. Yeah, so she said, you know, 
And but, this is, a, you know, here's a weird one. I yeah. just saw this one, right? It says, stay safe, but what the fuck is the... F- it's the oh, it's a guy. It's like it's it's like it's like the symbol they use for depression when people are depressed. But that's strange, right? She's trying to tell you something. You think she is? Yeah. Stay safe. I killed like, myself in yes. four months. <laughs> <laughs> Stay safe. I'm not gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Did you finish your pump? Yeah. Let me see it. Let's see the pump right now. <clears throat> oh, I'm excited to see the pump. It's bad. What do you mean it's bad? I bet you it's not bad at all. All right. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, wow, that's cool. Show it to that camera. That's your camera that's over there. That's actually really cool. Oh, that looks awesome. So that's that's uh that's and she put BF there. Yeah, bad friends. That's 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 uh the one that's uh Mike from uh No, is that Mike Wolkowski? From Monsters. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it looks like. What yeah. what's his name? Mike Wolkowski that's, from It's one Mike. eye, right? Yeah, he's one eye. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that his name, you guys? Yes. Mike. Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. Yeah, but his name, his last name was Mike. You know what? I, I didn't get that. I, I've never seen anything like that. I think that's creative. It's awesome. You made the little eyeball. <laughs> can we have it? Can I? Can you? Uh, well, no, no. Leave it in front of you. Rudy Jules, I think that's a phenomenal pump. Thank you. I think you did a great job, Bob. You like it? I, th- I, I. You know what? I think she's creative. I wouldn't be able to do that. All right, here. Um, can I have the pumpkin? Hold on one second. Okay. And I want I want all of us to say thank you for being a bad friend. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you for being a bad friend. friend. Yay, Jules. That was re- that's really awesome.